This is something I think no one in the University of Pittsburgh has ever really attempted before. The last time this happened in the continental U.S. was in 1979, so this is such a rare phenomenon. It's an opportunity for the entire continental United States to get involved. The primary purpose of the project is to observe the total solar eclipse in August of 2017. Basically what we want to do is fly a high altitude balloon so that it's above about 99% of the atmosphere during the eclipse so we get a clear unobstructed view. Our other goal is to look for what are called shadow bands. The idea is that we'll be able to detect shadow bands, a phenomenon that occurs a few minutes before and after totality where patterns of light and dark race across the surface of the Earth. We're sending up a bunch of video cameras that are going to take images and videos of the eclipse to try to get more information on that. And we're also sending up light sensors. By sending this photodiode array that can detect changes in light intensity, we'd like to see if we can see these shadow bands at a higher altitude where there's less atmosphere. We have several cameras devoted to these, these tasks, one of which is a live streaming camera, so you'll be able to watch from the internet as it happens. Our team name is the Shadow Bandits. We have six undergrads and five professors. The excitement of the students has been great. You know, they have an opportunity to do something they've never done before, get involved in a project, develop the science, the engineering on their own, and they brought a lot of talent. Starting in the morning, our payload string was uh, constructed, but they still all had to be connected together in one long string. And then in addition, we had to make sure that all the electronics were placed in these boxes, turned on, make sure that they're recording the data they're supposed to be recording, assemble it all together, and get it up in the air. This is a first for all of us. So having this opportunity to work with all of these electronics and programming, it was really interesting. It's going to be almost a year in the making of all these efforts that we've been putting towards it. And it's going to be really exciting to see what kind of data we collect on the day of. Thank you.